no earlier than the she asked me to promise I Goes G. You good? Mm, I am. It's been an exciting season already, Doris, but I think the middle of the year is when you really get an idea of which teams are in it for the long haul. They, they reveal their true selves. Right. By the midpoint of the season, the best teams are really starting to take shape. Everyone's much more dialed in. You can tell that winning matters, that the groups are collectively pulling in the same direction. So I agree. By this time of the year, we have a good idea who is going to win and win consistently. A look at the Bulls' starting lineup. Ball and Levine are the guard set. DeRozan out there with Vucevic, and it's Santos in at the three. He dialed that one up from long distance. Now Kevin Durant plays with great pace. He never allows the defense to speed him up, just a pretty pull-up jumper. Ball kicks to MP. Inside. Here's Vucevic. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. No good from Durant. For Chicago, they won their last contest that game against the Grizzlies in Memphis. What you love about Vucevic, the consistency, solid shooting percentages, and he's averaged double-digit rebounds for the last five years. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. You know, Greg, adding to that for Vucic, the last two seasons, he's been excellent in the playoffs. Great point, Kevin. His numbers were up over what he did in the regular season. He hits clutch shots, gives them a physical presence, and he is just a rock in the middle. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Billy Donovan gave me a few minutes. Talk to me about the importance of protecting the rim, challenging opponents at the top of the jump and making it difficult for them to convert easy baskets. But to have a chance of that, they have to expend energy getting back in transition, which will help close down those driving lanes. So guys will see where their energy lies throughout this game. Thank you, David. Levine finds MP. Good. MP's got six. Boy, four for four to get things started. Must have been a good shoot around this morning. This is it to Sharp. Can they get it? Tries again. He lays it in. This guy is just working his tail off on the boards. You love the effort, love the energy. Good ball movement here by the ball. And slam dunk by Vucevic. Well, because he's such a good scorer, passing windows open up for Zach Levine. Outside, Simmons. Irving against Levine. Irving passes to O'Neal. Oh, good with the triple. The Bulls leading by five. And after that trade request this summer, Kevin Durant still a Brooklyn net. The, the offers weren't enough to move the needle. And the decision was made to run it back. One thing's for sure. When you've got KD, you've got a chance. We can get lost in the impact Kevin Durant makes as a scorer, but this guy is so willing to share the basketball. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. They're basically saying, you're going to have to guard us at every point on the floor tonight if you're going to have any chance. Steps back. Here's Irving. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch lane. What I love 
about Kyrie Irving is there's no fear on the interior. This guy is looking for ways to score. Here's Santos Vucevic trying to get over. And MP gets it to go on the assist by Levine. Levine's got three assists tonight. And the first timeout called of the game for Brooklyn. All around. They've got Warren. Kyrie Irving is out there with Ben Simmons, and it's Durant, and it's Sharp, and it's the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Now here's Levine. High point lead, the biggest of the game. Shot clock at six. And they call the foul, so he's got the end. And Levine's efficient as well. And good shooting numbers, no doubt. Last year, he cut back on the turnovers. And boy, he's still young. There's still tons of upside to be had. And the ball's making a change here. Ball's checked in. Now, here's Sharp. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Levine against Irving. Over Levine, Chicago grabs the miss keep rolling here following the win against Memphis. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road, but they found ways to get their guys good looks. Well, they knew exactly how to approach that defense. They shot a fantastic percentage because they got quality looks. And so it's KD with it. He brings up the ball for the Nets. It's a 10-point game. They come into this having outplayed Phoenix the last game. And I credit the shot selection in that one. It's hard to stay patient, but you see the rewards. Well, typically, Greg, great decision-making leads to great shooting percentages. I thought that team played a very smart game. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Well, MP in the last matchup against Memphis was dominant. He grabbed 24 points, and there was no answer for him all game long. It looked like he got whatever shot he wanted out there. That performance is what we've come to expect during this great run of his. And we'll see if he can continue to stay high. And David in stretches, he was absolutely dominant. Greg, he'd love to match that performance tonight. This team needs his contributions. When he's right, he makes winning plays time and time again. Well, when you're coming off a game like he had, you know the difference tonight. They're going to load up against him. They're going to try to take him out of his rhythm early. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end, and you love his confidence. Santos, it's good. MP's got the lead up to 13 now for the Bulls. I am simply blown away by his accuracy. He has made every shot, and what's most important, his team is winning. Sharp, the pass to Warren. There's a good screen. Count it. Oh, so committed to scoring near the cup. TJ Warren, nice. The Nets making a switch here. O'Neal's checked in, and a change for the Bulls. DeMar DeRozan, he's checked in for Vucevic. Most losing teams, Greg, are looking to rebuild, look to the future, but not in Chicago. Yeah, their idea to turn it around was to get all-stars. Trading for Vuce in 21 during a losing season, then signing DeMar. As this game, guys, he has been everywhere. And what a welcome surprise that first half went above and beyond his usual scoring output. A huge bonus. Boy, when he's contributing like this, it makes everything easier for his team. And on the floor for Billy Donovan as we get into the second half. Ball and Levine are the guard set. DeRozan out there with MP. And it's Vucevic in at the center. And you hear the term point forward. But then, Greg, you had Magic Johnson. 6'9", but still a point guard. So what's the difference? Uh, well, when you talk about a point forward, it's someone whose versatility extends to their playmaking. Magic is the rare talent who redefined the point guard position. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. The drive by MP. And that'll be two free throws. With the foul. 
And what makes Chicago tricky to defend, Kevin, they just have such a balanced attack. They can score in the paint from mid-range or hurt you from deep. You know, as the Bulls have become a more veteran team, Greg, it feels like they've settled into what they do well. And you need a strong identity to be successful in this league. Chicago is building towards that, but it does take time. Chicago leading by 19. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldrich. Watch the latest, David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Kevin Durant learned an important lesson at age 11. His dad cooked him one-on-one. -on -one dunking on him and talking trash. Durant started crying and he locked himself in his room, but he came to realize, what am I so mad at? It's good to be passionate, but channel it. Once you're off the court, leave it and go back to being you. Kevin? Good advice. David, thanks. KD can't get it to go. And so Levine will bring it up now for the Chicago Bulls. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Ball with the bucket. Wow, what a start to this half. Three for three, dictating the pace on the offensive end. They're rolling early. Simmons dishes to KD. Right at the free throw line. That one drops for him. Durant's got 11 points. Now on the way to the floor. Generated so far, a scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Their accuracy in this one has just been on another level. I mean, the three ball keeps falling, and the defense just hasn't been able to run them off the line. I think it's also important we mention the number of assists this group has tallied. Their offense continues to just hum along right now. Thomas is out there with T.J. Warren. Then it's Sharp, and there's Seth Kirk. And it's Sumner in at the five. So that's the Nets five. Now, here's MP. After TJ Warren's miss, back to MP. A jump hook, that one goes, count it. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Now here's Curry. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Thomas gets a wide open look. Andre Drummond. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content. And if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some positive feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. Y'all have a great day and peace out. Make sure to get home safely.